Do you know where your food comes from? Do you care? Maybe yes, maybe no. In this video, we will meet local farmers who have been farming for decades and are experts at what they do. And we will even visit their farm. Hi, I am Jan from sustainablebutterflies.com.au. We are on a mission to make Australian educational, care and other organizations sustainable, frugal and improve their footprint. The link to our website is in the description below. Today I am at Gosford Farmers Markets, where I am meeting local farmers, old friends of mine, who are selling their fresh produce to the local community. Once they are done here, and they are amazing, bringes are selling quite fast, we will visit their farm and I am interested in their story. For example, what are their favourite and less favourite crops? It's raining, which is fantastic for the local produce. It's not so good for me, because I would much prefer to film the video right in the field. But anyway, we need rain. But you might be asking, why does local produce matter and what makes it sustainable? Fair enough, good question. I believe there are five main reasons that matter the most to most people. And number one is taste. Local produce here has been picked within 24 hours before getting here. Number two, nutrients. Because the time between the harvest and your plate is relatively short, the nutrients are less likely to be lost. Number three, it supports local economy, which is a no-brainer. Number four, it helps the environment. By reducing food miles, but also by maintaining green space, open space and local farmland within or close to local community. And number five, local farmers here can tell you right away how they produce was grown and what was involved in the process. So yeah, it's, there is more direct relationship. But enough preaching. Let's talk to people who are actually making this happen. All right, fantastic. So we just came back from the farmer's markets and I'm here with Phil and Janet. Uh, it's a little bit wet, but you know, we need the produce benefits. Anyway, I want to ask the farmer Phil, how long have you been farming, Phil? I came back to the farm at the age of 22 in 1975 okay. um, and came back to a family farm which was growing citrus at Mangrove Mountain. All right, fantastic. That's a lot of experience and knowledge. Can you share with us what have you been farming and what are you growing now? Originally a total citrus farm and we converted it in the late 70s to stone fruit um, and grew only stone fruit up until 2005. All right, and what are you growing now? And now... It's probably self-explanatory. In the... Uh, in the 2019-20s, we're now growing pesticide-free citrus again. Okay, fantastic. Thanks for that. Um, can you share with us what were or are your favourite crops and why? Well, we spent 25 years growing stone fruit, so I guess that had to be our favourite at the time, but increased use of pesticides became a, a concern. So we've transitioned back to pesticide free citrus and avocados. Okay, fantastic. And on the other hand, can you share with us what were your some of the less favorite crops and why? We had a go at growing nashi pears at Mangrove Mountain, but the climate wasn't correct. We grew some uh, smaller crops like pepinos and they didn't transport very well. And we've had a go at proteas, which were a little bit touchy on the weather, and also avocados, which were a little bit touchy with uh, root rot and phytophthora. Okay. Fantastic. That's amazing insight from the farmer. And the final question will be, if someone wants to start growing food but doesn't have a farm, uh, but perhaps has a garden bed or access to a community farm, community garden, would you be able to share some tips from your point of view, you know, what to avoid or where to start? Probably look around the area you're growing and see what grows naturally and easily. Um, also concentrate on what you actually like to eat and um, that way you'll probably put a better effort into it. All right, thank you for your time. That's it for today. Uh, we sustainable butterflies and who are we doing this for? For the environment, future generations, animals, plants, including butterflies. Have a great day.